Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Jane Frank Colors. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, today we're going to look at this subscription box. This is not sponsored. I just found the subscription box and had to give it a try. So I thought I'd share it with you. So this is from Kiwi Co. And this is their Maker Crate. So if you go on their website, which I will leave in the description box down below, they have a ton of different um, boxes. So they have like the Panda Crate, which is from zero to 24 months. And then they have the Koala Crate, which is ages two to four, so you get it. Kiwi Crate, five to eight. Atlas Crate, 6 to 11. Doodle Crate, 9 to 16 plus, which we might have to try that one. Tinker Crate, 9 to 16 plus. And the Maker Crate, which is this one, 14 to 104. So if you're over 104, this is not for you. And then the Eureka Crate, which is also 14 to 104. I don't know why they put 16 plus on all the others and then they say, 104. I don't know. It seems weird to me. So this, um, let's see what it says here. The Maker Crate is a monthly craft box dedicated to the discovery of new art and design tools to help turn artistic visions into design realities. Whether you are a new crafter or an experienced maker, each crate is designed to introduce fresh techniques draw inspiration from real designs and take pride in a finished project that's both fun and functional. Hmm. All right, so let's crack this baby open and see what's in it, because I have absolutely no idea. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, okay. Block printed convertible backpack. Can we see? What are we doing here? <laughs> okay. There we go. Alright, so we have oh this is just a paper. Okay. Alright. We have a little guide. That's good because All right, so welcome, maker. In this crate, carve creative designs into rubber blocks. Oh man, that makes me nervous. Okay, grab your materials, learn and explore. Looks like you can get on the website and it will show you how to do it. And then you can show it off by using their hashtags. Okay, then here's some inspiration. Alright. Oh, it gives you a little history. That's cool. 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 I'll have to read that later. Alright. So it looks like we get a bag. To work on. And it has like, because you don't want it to bleed through, right? Oh, it's like backpack. Well, that's cool. Okay. All right, have a bag. Then we have some paints. Looks like they're just acrylic paint and sage lilac maroon mustard and black I really like that sage and the maroon the mustard too I'm not really into the lilac Whoop, that's okay so there's a hole in the bottom of that so we'll just, <laughs> we'll just get rid of those okay 
We have our bags and our paint. This is pretty. A pretty color. Okay, then we have a brayer tool. Hello. I'm not smart enough to open the box. We'll go from this side. <laughs> that tape does not want to cut. There we go. Alright. We have a the Barrier tool. Ooh, that's nice. It's a nice quality. Cool beans. Okay. And then we have carving tools. I did my nails yesterday and they're like uber long. I don't know. Probably won't last. Okay, so we have some tools. I've never done like making my own stamps before, so this will be interesting. Okay. Oh, look, we got like a little coin thingy. Some tracing paper, or not trace, uh, carbon paper, it looks like. Oh, we get templates. Yay! We don't have to make it up if we don't want to. Cool. Templates. Cool beans. That's awesome. You're not left to your own devices. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. What's this? Just some paper you could draw on. Okay, draw your own template. Okay. I don't know what that is for, but okay. And then we have, it looks like we have two substantial rubber blocks here. Okay, let's get rid of so I guess the first thing would be to look at their little video thing. So I will be back. Okay, so I think I get this. I've, I've had like a full day since we started this video. Um, <laughs> I've gotten dressed, <laughs> shower, like done my hair and makeup. Okay, so I think I understand what we're kind of doing. So I want to kind of want a leaf kind of pattern, I think. And I don't, I don't know. So let's see if I can draw something here. Okay, so then the idea is to transfer the design onto the block using some transfer paper or carbon paper. So we put this down and then we put this down like so and then we use probably a pen would be better than a pencil just because it's a little won't tear through the paper so let's see if I have a good pencil if I don't you know what other it doesn't really matter
Do I have a ballpoint pen? No. This will probably work. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Well, I did do a very good job, did it? You know what? We'll just draw it. It will be fun. That might be my pen rather than the transfer paper. So we'll just draw it. So we can see it. Okay, now I've got to use the <sighs> scary stuff. Okay. So, I mean, maybe we could, can we cut it so that we have us take off the extra? Now I guess we need to do like around it, right? So let's see, okay, there we go. I think I'm just trying to take too much at one time, okay. As long as it's raised, right? We don't, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be like way deep, I don't think, as long as it's raised. This is harder than I thought it was gonna be, okay. It's okay though, we got this, we got this. Okay, now I'm gonna do around the other, flip over. Do around the other side. There we go, I think I've just been digging too much. Okay, too much. Okay, so that kind of gives us our leaf shape, I think. And then, do we want that? I don't know. All right, I mean, this is definitely gonna look homemade, but that's okay. This could be our practice too. Okay, so let's, that, and then, what is this do? That looks like it takes out a lot. Not sure about these circles now. Let's see. Okay. It's always weird to work in negative space, I think. Okay. So that kind of gives us around that one. They might not be circles, but they'll be little beams, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take this one that looks like it's gonna... Has anyone made stamps before? This is, this is a skill. Okay, I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit. I kind of have, I think, the shape good. <laughs> On videos, theirs looked all nice. Mine looks like a third grader did it. That's okay, we're just trying it out. Maybe we should try like a test run on it, on some paper, and see what it looks like. And then we can decide if we want to do our bag in it or if we want to like try again. Okay, so let's do like a practice and see what it looks like and then it, that will kind of tell us if we need to take any more off, I guess. So let's do the, let's do the maroon. 
And so that's what this little tray thing was for. So I'll put some on there. And then use the brayer to get some paint. And then we'll put it on our stamp. Okay. All right, I don't think it's gonna be as bad as I thought. Let's try it out. We'll put it on there. Press, let it hold for a minute. And we'll lift it. Let's see. Moment of truth. Here we go. <gasps> that's not bad. No, that's kind of nice. Aw, that's awesome. Okay, let's take off a little here. I don't mind a little bit of those edges. Probably we'll take these and the off and then we'll get something else, you know. <laughs> something else. That's okay. Okay. Alright, well, now I think we need to look at our bag and see how we're going to load these leaves on the bag. So let's see here. Let's get this out of the way because I don't need them anymore. Okay, we have this piece of Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. I'm kind of thinking maybe like two here, maybe. Okay, let's just, let's just go for it. Here we go. Put some paint. Use our brayer. And use the brayer to put the paint on the stamp. And then we use our stamp on the bag. Here we go. Yes, that worked. Oh, I'm so happy it worked. Oh my gosh, I really like it. Down the side there, that's cute. Should we do it down the other side as well? 
Or do we just want to do it on the one side? I'm such a minimalist when it comes to the like my handbags and stuff. I'm like, just, just a little touch is good. What if, okay, what if we take some baby wipes and wipe off the stamp? And we did like a, the sage green over here. Let's see if that works, if we can clean it off. This is what my stamp looks like. Let's no way I would get it lined up again. Let's see. <laughs> well, it's kind of cute. Okay. I'm okay with that. All right. Let's do like um, I don't know. That's kind of cute though. This is kind of fun though. So this is what this whole, um, maker thing is, is just trying new activities. And so this has been fun to try some stamp making. I have never done that before. And I probably never would have if I hadn't got this box. So I'll leave all the information in the description box down below. But look at my mask. Look at my little bag. I think it's kind of cute. Yeah, I don't even mind this because it's just like kind of cute. So if you guys want to check this out, go ahead. It's not sponsored. It's not. There's no. I don't have anything for you. It's just this. The link is in the description box down below and something will come next month and we will try something new. So I kind of like this idea of trying new things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!